What's up my beautiful babes? So I grew my hair out. Um, yeah, like my hair grows really fast. I know it's like pretty, but it's like kind of matted. And like Becky told me I should get a haircut and a hair color. And I'm like, okay, Becky, I'll go to the salon. So I'm here at Brad's hair salon. Um, I heard he's like really good at hair. So like he's gonna take this wig off my head and like totally transform it into like a mermaid goddess. Like, I don't know, like maybe like a sleek share moment, but like blonde and like make me super platinum blonde. Cause like I'm looking kind of yellow right now and I'm really not into it. And Becky doesn't like it either. Um, So I'm gonna hand my hair over to Brad. It's weird that my, my hair comes off my head and I can put it back, but like I swear it's not a wig. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have this wig that costs, it, it costed like $2,000, I believe. I did not pay for it. It was sent to me. Thank you to the company who sent it to me. No free brand deals here, but yeah, thank you. Anyways, moving on. So I've had it for a long time. And by a long time, I mean like less than a year, probably like six no, like almost a year. And I've used this wig for many videos, many like follow this braiding tutorial video. Uh, yeah, anyways, it's seen better days. As you can see, it's full lace, okay? I will take it off my head in a second and show you, but it is, it was longer than this. It used to be like down to here. I think it's like 30 something inches and it's like a very, very, very thick piece. I actually thinned it out a lot. So I'm gonna take this off my head and transform it and give it life again because it has seen better days and it needs to, I don't know, I just wanna fix it, all right? Because my friend wants to wear it for an event for BeautyCon. And like, I want her to look good. And like, you know what? I have so much fun transforming wigs and transforming hair. And I just want to show you guys my process and hopefully you'll enjoy it. I feel like these videos are kind of like therapeutic, just like sitting there and watching something be transformed. So hopefully you enjoy it. I don't know, cause I like these things. So hopefully you do too. You feel me on that one? All right, you guys, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get started coloring this wig, okay? But I do want to show you guys real quick the inside of this wig, wig, get it, wig, you get it, okay. Uh, all right, <laughs> so here is the internal workings of this wig. I feel like I can't say wig without thinking of like wig. This is the inside of it. It is full lace. Like this thing is all hand done, all tiny little uh, stitches in there. It's insane. Like, holy crap. You can part this thing wherever you want because there is no tracks showing, honey. It is all lace and the front is gorgeous lace, um, but we're gonna clean her up and yeah, fix her up. So let's get it started. <laughs> All right, so what you guys just saw me do is lighten her hair a bit. I actually use 20 volume with bleach, with shampoo mixed in, with a little bit of water. That way I could kind of put it on sloppy uh, and then kind of mush it in and lather it a bit. That way it gets on all of her hair strands. And then I let that sit on her hair for like 20 minutes in foils just to heat it up a little bit, make it go a little faster. Rinsed it off, shampooed it three times because her hair was very dirty. <laughs> 
and a lot of people have worn this wig. Then I toned her hair with purple shampoo. I started at the bottom where it's most yellow and then worked my way up and toned her hair for like two minutes. And then I can deep conditioned it for like three more minutes. Uh, and now we have this gorgeous, oh my God, fabulous white, white, white blonde. When this is dry, it's gonna be so pure white. Like, just get ready for this. This is my favorite part is blow drying and styling and cutting. So I'm so ready. Let's do this, let's blow dry this baby, let's cut her, and let's style it. And just a little tip with detangling. So hair is way more fragile when it's wet. It has a lot of elasticity, so it's gonna stretch out and possibly break when it's wet. So I usually just try to softly, <laughs> kind of softly, you just saw me brushing and it wasn't that soft. But on a real person, I normally brush it pretty softly at first and just get the, you know, the really bad tangles out and then blow dry it like 50% and then brush it again before I start actually blowing it out with a brush because when it's dry, you can pull way harder and it won't break the hair and it'll be much easier for you to get the tangles out of the hair when it's dry. Okay, halfway done with the blowout. That was a long process. <laughs> this thing is tangled AF, but like, look at this hair. Are you kidding me? Look how white it is. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. And then I still have this side to do. Uh, so much hair. Like, this is like stress relieving for me. To see this makes me beyond happy. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> So here we go, here she is. Here's the new and improved $2,000 wig of mine that I completely ruined, and now she's back. Okay. Don't mind the fact that she's not glued down in the front, that's why the lace is looking a little bit whack, but, <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, that took me four hours to film. This wig was way worse than I thought it was, but can you like just acknowledge this happening right now? Um, look at this color. Are you joking? Have you ever seen a more perfect blonde? <gasps> Luxury, okay? So you guys already know what I did with the color. Um, I already told you that. But then after that, I blow dried it in very small sections, starting at the bottom of the hair and work my way up. Um, I put a little bit of product in there, a little bit of smoothing product. And then I straightened it off camera because I was a little bit hot and bothered and I had to put it on my head to straighten it. And it was very hard to film, so I just didn't. But you know how to straighten hair, I'm sure. Um, and that's why it's so, so, so smooth. And then you guys saw me do a little bit of a haircut on it and that's it. Now we have this beautiful, <laughs> luxurious wig that I'm obsessed with and I never want anybody to wear it, but like, I'm gonna have to let somebody wear it. I really hope the day that somebody wears it, it's not humid outside because this baby's gonna be 
little bit frizzy and she's like perfect right now and I'm obsessed with her. What do you guys think her name should be? Comment below. I'm feeling like Shakira or something. Like, I don't know. She's like really cute and I can't stop touching it. And I'm obsessed with this transformation. I love hair transformations of any kind, even if it's a wig. I love it so much and I'm sweating to death. So I'm gonna get this wig off my head, but like you guys, it's so gorgeous. Let me do a little close up of this. Hi. I look like a haggard mess, but my hair looks beautiful. That's all that matters. Thank you. Fabulous. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you want to see me do more wig transformations like this, please let me know and give this video a like, please. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.